Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for May 7th through the 15th. This is for the sign of Aquarius. Generally, my weekly readings are love readings. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. If you're looking for a quick reading and you have Instago, you know, an app or iPhone, you can go there, $10, and I respond within 24 hours. Um, if you, you don't have that and you'd like a, one of my other options, you can check the info out below and it will lead you right to where you need to go or tell you what to do. This is for the sign Aquarius. We're going to get one of these, one of these, and then we'll break into the tarot deck. If the one of these oracle cards flips over while I'm shuffling, you get to see. Oh, looks like you are going to get to see it now. Give back. I turned it. There's a reason for that. Give back. Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. This is for the second week of May. Give back. Cast aside normal routines. Hmm. It's all about serving others without getting paid back. Interesting. This second week of May. It's about doing for others without any expectations. Interesting. That one we will save till the end. This is for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? for the 7th through the 15th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so whatever this resonates is whenever it's meant to be. Okay? Aquarius. The world card. Wow! A major new beginning, and I will fix the coloring after I have these cards laid out. Major new beginning. You've learned something big with the world card. There's a completion here. When one, you know, when one phase ends, another one begins. So a big, a long-term phase has ended so that a new one can begin. This can also signify travel, success. Many of you are embarking on a brand new chapter of your life, like one huge chapter has closed. Um, here we have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it is in reverse. Now, somebody could be feeling or dealing with somebody that is very um, stubborn, hard-headed, hard uh, greedy, only focused on everything but love at this time. Somebody may be focused really on their job and their career and their finances, not focusing on love. Here we have the moon. There's something going on behind the scenes. Caution, something is not as it seems. So there's some sort of uh, mystery here. What the heck is this mystery, Aquarius? Page of Pentacles. Somebody's not doing the right thing. Somebody, because the Page of Pentacles is about integrity. And, you know, this guy, somebody's lost their focus. And they may be throwing money away or spending way too much money. There could be addictions here. Interesting. Hmm. Somebody could be wasting their time on something. You may need to turn your back on something to start this new chapter to bring success into your life. You may need to close one door, is what I'm trying to say. With this Three of Wands reverse, it's like... <clears throat> somebody is... They may not be feeling... realizing how far they can go something like that let's find out what the hell this is justice reverse somebody is being dishonest here 
There's some, you're dealing with somebody who is dishonest, illegal. They're doing something illegally, whether it's you or your partner or somebody you know is doing something illegal because this is illegal. And the king of pentacles in reverse is somebody could, that is, could be doing illegal dealings, okay? And this could be addictions. So some, and there's a lot of dishonesty here. Somebody is not being honest here. They're not doing the right thing with the justice reverse. That's what, I mean, there's a, I don't want to be held accountable for my actions. Hmm. They could, because somebody doesn't want to be held accountable, they could be filling you up with a bunch of illusions. Just beware. Just beware because something is not as it seems. You're dealing with somebody who is twisting the truth. That's what's going on here. Ah, oh, the wheel of bad luck. Yes, it's a run of bad luck. Uh-oh. So, you have been successful. You're about to start a new phase, but you're dealing with somebody who brings bad energy and bad luck into your life. You know, when you get the Wheel of Fortune upright, it's good luck. Now, to reverse, it's bad luck. Things, are, the, things could get out of control. You could be dealing with somebody that is very immature and totally lacks focus, doesn't care about the money. They're spending the money on some sort of addiction or obsession, being dishonest about it. Could be stealing even. Oh, there's definitely some illegal dealings here. You know, um, the seven of, somebody needs to make a clear decision. This is the seven of cups reverse. It's time to make a clear decision, a clear choice. Somebody is, maybe you have already made the choice to walk away, turn your back on somebody that brought a lot of mystery, confusion, and illusion, and bad luck into your life. You could have made the decision to turn your back on this person because you're ready to start this new chapter, okay? Because wherever you were at, there was no, this person wasn't changing, whoever it was. They weren't about to change. They weren't going to change. And they brought a lot of misfortune into your life. So I feel like you guys are turning your back on a situation and starting a new phase of your life that leads to success. But you're leaving somebody else behind that was really dishonest and full of complete crap, okay? With that moon card, somebody that does it escapes, okay? Escapes reality. So they want to they wanna help you to escape reality too. So they will fill you up with any line possible to not let you see the reality. So I feel like that's who you've been dealing with. And there could be some legal issues because of this person. But I feel like you have made a solid decision to turn your back and start a new life. Yeah, even though it's a painful decision, huh? You know, and you've probably been postponing it. But there's there's been just too much fear and too much worry, and you've turned your turned your eye to it long enough, and it's caused a lot of emotional, mental turmoil. That's what you've been going through. So you know whether you so you're dealing with somebody that's been going through this turmoil, and they've treated you coldly, or you're feeling cold because of this. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that uh, may had had some serious issues with money. And, you know, it was bringing you down. And I think that the issues with money could have had to do with addictions or who knows what could do with anything, okay? Could be even spending with a seven of cups. Who knows? Either way, somebody hasn't been doing the right thing and they haven't wanted to be held accountable. And it looks like you're probably turning your back or they're turning their back. Somebody is ha be having... A back turned on them, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody is turning their back on the other person and walking away. They've made the decision, I'm going to go start a new chapter. I'm going to go start my new life elsewhere because I can't be involved in this turmoil. Yes, you've been dealing with a dishonest, untruthful situation. And there is no doubt about it. None. Somebody has been lying. They probably haven't been... Commu they only communicate when they have to communicate. And when they do communicate, it's complete lies. So, you know, 
dishonesty. I'm not accountable for this. Even though I, you know, you may feel like this is unfair, but there's cycles in life. Sometimes people just stay into your, in your life for a cycle. They aren't meant to stay forever. And you know, the moon card is a cycle and the wheel is a cycle. They're touching. There's a cycle here that needs to end so that you can begin another cycle. The cycle that you have been in, all that was, was, it wasn't meant to be forever, okay? It was a run of bad luck that you had to go through. It was karmic bad luck, okay? With justice right next to the wheel reversed. It was karmic bad luck. But I feel like that was, that debt has been paid. And now you are being urged to turn your back and focus on the future and start this new journey. It's like, and the world card is a lesson. So a lesson has been learned here. You guys have learned a major lesson through suffering, right? You have, let me just see if I can fix the lights on this. A little bit better, huh? I'm trying. Oh, look at that. It's a quite a bit better. We're going to zoom it right in. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. Gotta love that sunlight, right? Um, but anyway, you've been dealing with somebody who is is definitely dishonest, okay? Whether it's you or the other person. And for all you people that want to bash underneath the comments, keep that to yourself. I don't want to hear any hateful comments about another sign. Keep it to yourself. If you want to write something, just keep the signs out of it. There's been, there was too many relationships problem, problems there. I think that there's an end of a relationship for many of you. There was too much, too much fighting, too much arguing, no contentment. You know, and I think you're giving up, you're releasing. I'm not going to fight for this anymore. I'm not. I can't deal with illegal issues. You know, I'm not going to be your accomplice. Um, yeah, because there was no forward movement there. There wasn't. There was a lack of discipline. Whoever, whether it's you or the other person, somebody lacks the discipline and the strength to master their emotions and move out of a situation that is very harmful okay so I think there's some sort of addiction here I really do um and somebody I think you're releasing you're letting go you're letting go of somebody that was very sneaky very um mysterious uh they had a wandering eye they were greedy they all they they were in it for the for the money for somebody to take care of them or all they focused on was their job Whatever's going on, I think that you're leaving somebody behind that wasn't in it to help you succeed. So you're taking action to bring success to your life. And it feels like you're coming out of this pit darkness. It's like, I see the light, I see the truth, and I'm moving forward. I'm releasing, I'm letting go, I'm giving up on this situation. Because I, I'm not, you've been dealing with a tricky, like I said, I said it before this card even came out, this is the magician reversed, a tricky, sneaky, cunning, crafty individual who knows exactly how to lie, manipulate better than probably anybody in the whole world. Okay, the magician card, you're dealing with a master liar, manipulator, magician in reverse that can find any way, use all their resources to woo you over and I feel like that's what's happened here and you're you've come to your realization you've come to a realization that you know I can't put in any more effort into a relationship where you aren't telling me the truth you're keeping secrets from me you don't even want to move forward you're not even heading in the right direction. You're dealing with another person, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody in this situation is not heading in the right direction. They're going downhill very quickly, and they're gonna and they're bringing, trying to bring you with them. And I feel like you are taking action to remove yourself from this deceptive situation. That's what it looks like to me. Do I see new love coming in? No, I don't have the Ace of Cups. I don't have the Two of Cups. The Ten of Cups is reversed. I don't see new love coming in. This reading will not resonate with everybody. Some of you are in a situation in which you are, it's been a karmic situation. And you have learned that lesson. You have paid that debt. And you are about to start a brand new major chapter in your life after a serious run of bad luck. 
give back. Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs you today. Ooh, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. We already talked about this. There's really nothing else for me to say. Remember, these, this timing is fluid. The separation could have already happened. It could be on your mind or you could be going through it right now or you're about to go through it because you're dealing with somebody who is a very tricky, sneaky, deceptive, cunning, mysterious, secretive individual. That's what I got for you. Talk to you next week.